Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foldy Square, covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse. First, an update. We reported on Monday of this week. This is Friday. Friday, December 9th, 2022. On Monday, we reported that the indictment of Frank Schneider, the spy for Ruji Ignatova of OneCoin, had been unsealed. That, in my mind, invariably, up until now, precedes the presentation in court of the individual. And he's been awaiting extradition. Um, But it's now Friday and he hasn't been done. And I want to clarify that we said, we learned through our sources that there was an airlift coming in. We didn't know who was on the airlift. It seemed pretty fair to surmise, so we went to check it out. But the airlift, in fact, and this will be a transition, was a man named Keita. And he wasn't being flown in from West Africa. He was being flown in from Arkansas. It's a gun trafficking case in which uh, straw buyers are sought at gun stores in Little Rock, and Mr. Keita is accused of carrying the guns on buses for sale in New York, in the Bronx specifically, and the the prosecutor said that the gun has been tied to particular shootings in the Bronx. Surprisingly, he was ordered released on bond. Um, it didn't happen right away because his, his father, who's a cab driver in the Bronx, and his mother, who's braids hair down in Arkansas, both have to sign the bond, and the prosecutor said they're going to be appealing today to Judge Preska. Again, all I can say is what we're going to go try to find out, not what we will find out. But we are seeking to pursue that case. We, we've, it happened. We were, in August it was rumored, and yesterday it happened. Brittany Griner for Victor Boot, and good, you know, God bless Victor, uh, uh, Miss Griner. But Victor Boot is an arms trafficker. He was, he, he also moved logistics for the UN, but he moved weapons, machetes, rocket propelled grenades that killed many people. Liberia. Uh, Sierra Leone. So to trade an arms trader back to Russia when it's in the middle of the war in Ukraine seems a bit strange. There was a case down here in SDNY, and so we wrote a story. That's the hook to SDNY. Judge Marrero signed an order that was sealed until recently. This evening we'll be covering the full corruption of the UN. The sale of Antonio Guterres, not far from here in Lower Broadway, Cipriani's. Yes, he's for sale by the UN Correspondents Association, and we'll be covering it. Watch this space.